have controversial opinions about food. I call them opinions. I still stand by them. I'm not going to change because I believe it's the right way. Fruit. If you're trying to lose body fat, stay the fat from fruit. The only fruit you should eat really are berries. I'm sure you've seen it before, but there are many studies looking at the effects of fruit on obesity. And although fruit contains a large amount of simple sugars, and it would be reasonable to expect that their consumption would contribute to obesity, all of the available evidence we have today indicates that most types of fruit have an anti-obesogenic effect. And in one study looking at fruit consumption on body mass index during a weight loss intervention, fruit actually had the strongest and most unique contribution to weight loss, accounting for between 5.8 and 13% of the weight that was lost. But I think one important question is how much fruit is too much fruit? We do have a study looking at the biochemical effects of a mainly fruit diet in men. And despite their intake of more than 200 grams of fructose every single day, which is the equivalent of about a gallon worth of soda every single day in terms of fructose consumption, the results indicated no adverse effect and slight advantages for blood pressure, body weight, insulin, and blood lipid levels after 12 and 24 weeks of observation. And we have another study of people consuming about 20 servings of fruit per day for a few weeks. They were consuming more than 2,500 calories. And by the end of the time, despite eating approximately 60% of their total calories from carbohydrates and approximately 20 servings of fruit per day, they actually saw reductions in body weight and improvements in essentially every single blood marker. So rather than asking the question, on average, how does fruit affect obesity and body weight? we could be asking how much fruit is too much fruit. And at the present moment, it's not quite clear, but diets that are almost predominantly made out of just fruit have been consumed over multiple weeks and months, demonstrating improvements in blood markers and body weight. Obviously, if you begin consuming fruit and it causes you to overconsume calories and you begin gaining weight, then fruit could potentially contribute to weight gain. But for most people, if they are not counting calories, the consumption of whole fruit does appear to have anti-obesogenic effects. And due to its high concentration of antioxidants, micronutrients, and dietary fiber, the consumption of fruit is protective for both lifespan and health span. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.